Um, so we're in full swing with the with the festival. Um, how are, how is it performing? How's the Marche performing? So actually, so far, so it's only the fourth day of the of the of the Marche. Uh, but we, we saw uh, first a big uh, increase in the attendance. Uh, we, we are 4% more than last year, so we will be close to 12,000 uh, participants, which is huge. Uh, we see also uh, a big growth in the number of titles being shown, uh, more than 5,000 titles, that, that's huge. Uh, and in terms of business, we don't know yet, of course, it, it's very, very, very early. Uh, but as usual, well, uh, we, we see that we have uh, on the market some big projects who are getting the attention. There is a film in the selection, of course, who are always the, the locomotive for uh, all, all the sales. Uh, and and uh, many, many films in screenings, of course. We will be, as usual, with about 1,400 screenings. Uh, the attendance is fantastic. Maybe the weather helps us for once. Uh, and, uh, but, but it's very crowded. And, and uh, uh, from really the first day, Wednesday morning at 10 a.m., so it was really the, the, the start of the, of the marché, I was really surprised this year to see that all the booths were really active and not, as usual, still just putting the posters. And you've been here since the, the 1990s. Um, have you seen the marché grow in, in that time? So, of course, the, the marché had potentially changed and, and, and became maybe uh, uh, early in the... the uh, in the 2000s, uh, the, the, the leading event for, for the film industry. But uh, yes, I, I, I saw many changes. Of course, we know that the traditional distribution is much more difficult and everyone knows that since for five years, the, the, the price, uh, 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 the asking price and the price really sold for international deals are down by 30, 40% maybe, which of course impacts the production because the budget had to more or less follow that, that uh, drop. Uh, in the same time, uh, we see also can evolving a lot from being just a pure market as it was before to a producer market. Uh, and uh, all, all our programs for producers are absolutely uh, uh, overbooked. We, we have the producers network, the producers workshop. Uh, we, we create new opportunities. For instance, we, we welcome this year six young producers and filmmakers from China who will be trained for three days to pitch their project to international audiences, and all those programs are absolutely uh, 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 well welcomed. Uh, we have this year, I think, close to 4,000 producers attending the Marche, uh, and so we, we really see that the, 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 the business and what we should offer is going also to that segment of, of people who really need in can to find co-producers, to find partners, uh, to, 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 to extend their network uh, abroad. Have you found that the internet and the sort of globalization has changed the way the Marche works at all? So, for, for sure, uh, internet and Sinando, which is actually uh, our tool, uh, help a lot uh, uh, people to prepare before the market, to, to really uh, arrive on the market in a very professional way, knowing exactly who they want to, 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 to see uh, and uh, knowing before they meet someone uh, who is doing. Because that, that's something very very interesting also how the, the producers uh, are now more professional in the way they, 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 they come in Cannes, for instance. And, and of course, we also offer with internet the possibility of having catch-up screenings, which is also some flexibility for the distributors if they miss a screening to have a chance to, to see it after. But I would say that uh, uh, basically, no. The, the market is really a question of people to, to talk together, to be convinced, to have trust, and that is really the the face-to-face the -face which gives that possibility. And with regards to the, the countries that, that are represented here, are there any in your, your, in your time here that you've seen boom and, and grow and, and sort of take pride in seeing that? Yeah, yes, actually you're right. You, 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 take to, you, you need to take at least 10 years to really be able to see a real trend. Uh, and I would say that from the 10 years, for instance, Latin America had a very, very big boom. Uh, and uh, certainly because we involved a lot in Latin America, also doing Ventana Sur, which is a market we organized in Buenos Aires, but also at the same time, most of the countries from Latin America has also created their own center of cinema. So they are also able to support the producers to come in can, but mostly uh, and importantly to produce films. So that's certainly one of the regions who, who, who change a lot. But we, we see also big increase from Asia and, and uh, of course China and, and, and Korea, but also new new countries uh, as Philippines, as v Vietnam, now are, are really more present in Cannes. And this year, the, the biggest increase actually was Africa. 
uh, Africa this year has a 20% increase. Uh, South, South Africa, uh, Kenya are, are part of the, the, the most uh, uh, growing countries here. Is there, are there any particular countries that you'd like to see? Um, become part of the festival? You know, we, we have uh, about 110 countries represented, so I think we cover more or less all, all, all the world where there is a cinematographic experience and activity. Uh, of course, we would like to see more Chinese. Uh, we will have a lot, and we, 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 we do actually uh, uh, many programs. I mentioned one with the, the filmmakers. We, we also have a long term partnership with China Movie Channel. Uh, but of course, we, 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 we think that considering the incredible size of this market and of this, uh, this country of production, uh, we, we should expect to have a bigger presence of, of uh, Chinese buyers and producers here. And it's something we, we hope to see in the future. And, and with regards to how the Marche grows, did you, um, is, it, is it challenging for you to, to bring new ideas and bring something fresh um, you know, every year? To, to the festival. That, that's my, my, my only pleasure and my only reason to, to, to be here actually. It's really to try to bring new, new, new projects, new programs. And, and uh, I think this year we have one which is not totally new, which is the Dog Corner, but which is now second year very successful. We have more than 300 documentaries in a video library. We have sales agents, four documentaries in this uh, venue. Uh, and, and also very close to the Dog Corner, this year we have created the Cross Media Corner which is actually working fantastically well. Uh, we, we present some installations of cross-media uh, uh, projects with different screens, and uh, producers can experience by themselves uh, what it is, to, to understand how you can interact a book, an iPad, a, a joystick, a film, a web documentary, uh, and, and all of that in the same space you can play with. Uh, and, and also we have a cabinet curiosité, which is a loop of one hour when we selected 12 interesting projects from around the world, uh, always with cross-media contents. So we hope this is something who can inspire producers. Uh, cross-media is very uh, common now in documentaries or for series, for instance, not yet really for feature films. And we think that there is something to do, not for every film, of course, but it's something who may be really interesting or for the creation, or for the distribution and the marketing, or even maybe for the financing of the films. And also, the Cannes Film Festival, obviously you're closely associated with that. Does, does it help having all these A-listers um, come to the, to the festival, draw attention to the Marche as well? Does it attract filmmakers and, co and no. um, companies? And companies? Of course, it, it's even more than an association, because the Marche du Film and the festival are the same entity. So it's uh, absolutely a, 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 a total and perfect synergy. And I think if they, they, certainly the reason of the success of Cannes is being uh, able to be at the same time a wonderful festival and a very efficient market because that's of course create the possibilities for films to be perfectly uh, uh, exposed to media and, and, uh, and, and the distributors and at the same time for the producers to recoup their investment to come in Cannes. So that, that's uh, of course uh, a model uh, even some other event would like to, 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 to reproduce. Uh, and and uh, yes, I, I would say that for, for, for the last year Certainly, we, we worked more together to really uh, uh, reinforce all the synergies we can find. And uh, I, I say we, we, we exchange a lot uh, between uh, some filmmakers in the selection, being participating to our roundtables. And of course, once more, they are the locomotives of the, of the marché. And, and very finally, being British, we're obsessed with the weather. <laughs> does, does the weather affect um, sales at all? Have you found that? You know, I think uh, it's interesting because, of course, uh, the, 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 the uh, uh, robust construction at the Palais suddenly looks very uh, uh, appealing when it's uh, that kind of rain. And even we did this interview, instead of being on a nice beach, it's in my office, sorry, but much more comfortable today.